Um, and that's interesting. I can speak to that too with some of my other experiences. But for imposter syndrome, yeah, I, I've definitely, I definitely had that at the beginning. Um, I've had that lots of times throughout my career. So for anyone listening, that's pretty normal, especially if you're moving, if you're changing roles, moving to a different job. Like it's, it's a very normal experience. And um, getting through it, I uh, hmm. confidence is interesting because you, you can't, well, on one hand, I want to say you can just decide to be confident, but that's not always the case. Um, but yeah, I've definitely, I definitely remember feeling bits of imposter syndrome when I was at Smart Access. Um, and I think maybe what helped me the most is um, really feeling like I was doing the work to be there. Um, and what I mean by that is I would... I, I would own the fact that I, I've never worked in a tech company. I've never worked in like software before. So what does that mean? Well, it means that like I should probably spend more extra time with the developers asking them questions and figuring out how to speak their language because they're actually, they're the people, even though I might be leading them as like the product manager and they might be like not working for me, but they, they, they're taking direction from me. Um, I still don't necessarily know their language as well as they do, and I, I should be respectful of that, and I should put in the effort to like understand it and learn it quickly. Um, and, I, and I don't, I don't think that should be something that like stresses you out too much. Um, and like, I, I had to really fight with that. Is like, okay, don't get stressed out by this. It's just, it's just a matter of like, it's a learning problem. It's like I need to learn this like as I'm going. And so I spent a lot of time with um, two of the main developers. Like I would, I would kind of like stand over their shoulder sometimes when they coded. I, like, I'd ask them, like, is it, is it okay if I, like, watch you code this? And, like, can you explain to me what you're doing? And, like, what, and then terms would come up that I wouldn't know. Like, uh, like API is a big thing in the software world. And for the longest time, like, I, I had a hard time wrapping my head around, like, what the hell is an API? <laughs> like, application yeah. or, or programming interface or whatever. Um, I don't even remember the acronym right now. But, um, like, there are all these, like, concepts and, like, the, the software world is so complex and you can't remember everything and not every engineer knows every bit of software programming. So, um, but it's, it's like trying to, yeah, something that really helped me was just, like, knowing that I'm doing the work to try and play at this level. Um, and whether or not I'm actually playing on that level doesn't matter so much as long as I'm putting in the effort. 